February 13, 2015, Friday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God's who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The response is, Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. You are my shelter. From distress you will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom you will ring me round. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Aphathatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone. But the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear, and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord.